Hello and welcome to Oliber. Today we will check out the key differences and similarities between Kubernetes and Terraform. Kubernetes and Terraform are the leading tools in today's cloud infrastructure. Both these languages exhibit similar characteristics, but their main purpose is different. Terraform is primarily used for infrastructure tools. On the other hand, Kubernetes is used for container orchestration. First, let's understand, what is Terraform? Terraform is an open-source tool used for building and modifying the version control infrastructure. It is written in HashiCorp configuration language, HCL, which supports various service providers. Now, let's check out the key features of Terraform. Multiple cloud provider. This allows easy switching between cloud provider AWS to GCP without vendor lock-in. Infrastructure code. It uses HCL to turn HCL infrastructure code into readable files and then reuse the template for infrastructure. Execute. Once described, it creates a plan and waits for approval before making any changes. Resource graph. It generates a resource map and updates non-dependent resources simultaneously to ensure deep insight into your infrastructure. Complex change automation. Terraform applies these changes into infrastructure with minimal manual intervention. This feature is beneficial in analyzing configuration, determining changes, and incremental plans. Use cases of Terraform. Monitor the infrastructure. Terraform uses a state file to keep track of resources. Whenever the resources are changed state, file helps to determine changes required in the infrastructure to meet the final goal. Software Defined Network SDN. Terraform's ability to communicate with the SDN allows it to move ticket-based workflow and automate the deployment process, which significantly reduces the deployment time. Multi-Tier Application Management Terraform handles the interdependencies of each tier by grouping them. Plugins and dependencies play a crucial role in maintaining uniformity across the tiers. Though the manual installation can be challenging, Terraform guarantees accurate installation and implementation every time. Deployment across multi-cloud. Terraform is popular for its usage in any cloud. The HCL configuration file assists in managing cross-cloud dependencies and multi-cloud deployments. This, in return, improves robustness as well as the fault tolerance. Pros and cons of Terraform. Pros, multi-cloud deployments, versatile choice, infrastructure as code, IAC, version control capabilities, easy to record, manage, and report change, modularity, declarative syntax, avoids downtime, readable documentation. Cons, doesn't support GKE, bugs are common in new releases, doesn't support error handling, managing state files separately can be challenging, not beginner friendly, should be well versed in HCL, need to destroy the object and reapply, time-consuming and error-prone. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a tool to manage container applications, also known as the K8 system. This automates the deployment and management of the cloud, on your own servers or in the public cloud. Key features of Kubernetes. Automatic scaling. It scales the container application and adjusts the size of the resources based on how they are being used. Lifecycle management. It is easy to automate deployment and updates with a rollback and pause feature. Resilience. With features like auto placement, auto restart, auto replication, and auto scaling Kubernetes can easily recover from any issue. Advanced DevOps security. This feature creates safer automation in every step that allows developers to work efficiently. Use cases of Kubernetes. Orchestration containers on multiple hosts. Kubernetes being platform independent lets hosting containers on various machines or the cloud. Its failover layers help to maintain high availability. Running on CI slash CD pipeline. Kubernetes is sought after for its CI slash CD methodologies that as long as they are packed in a container, they will keep running in the CI slash CD platform. Discovering services and workload balancing. Kubernetes makes the container cluster service accessible to other platforms through the cluster's DNS point. 
Load balance traffic is distributed to ensure the availability and stability of deployed instances when huge network traffic is encountered. Orchestration storage. Kubernetes enables easy creation of storage of large volume data. You can also store it on any platform from network to cloud storage. Supervising compute resources. It is considerably budget-friendly and easier to host on the Kubernetes cluster rather than hosting on various servers. Pros and cons of Kubernetes. Pros, resource-friendly, horizontal scaling, GitOps workflow, prevents infrastructure lock-ins, secrets provide seamless integrations, container management tool, extensive documentation. Cons, takes time to learn, some Kubernetes is new so might not be stable needs necessary adjustments for workflow, limited services coverage, infrastructure orchestration is only possible, complex troubleshooting, vendor lock-in makes migrating harder. Similarities between Terraform and Kubernetes. DevOps tools. Both Kubernetes and Terraform are used by DevOps engineers and cloud engineers to automate and streamline software development and deployment processes. Declarative configuration. Both Terraform and Kubernetes share a common conceptual method to define configuration. Cloud agnostic and open source. Both similar approach to work smoothly across different clouds, platforms, and APIs. State management. Both use logic to ensure the configuration files defined in the state matches with the actual files. CI slash CD compatibility. Both Terraform and Kubernetes offer advanced and automated workflow that can integrate well with the CI-CD pipeline. Extensibility Both provides extensive external plugins and integration to external plugins. Scalability Both supports a range of scale to accommodate scaling requirements of modern cloud-native environments. Key differences between Kubernetes and Terraform Focus area Terraform provides infrastructure components. Kubernetes has container orchestration. Configuration language. Terraform uses Hashicorp configuration language, HCL. Kubernetes uses YAML and JSON files. Targets. Terraform targets infrastructure as code. Kubernetes targets container workload. Runs on slash usage. Terraform runs on multiple cloud platforms. Kubernetes has interchangeable usage of YAML and JSON. Easy to use. Terraform gives welcoming experience to newbies. Kubernetes gives familiarity with the cluster's internal components and mechanics is a must. Configuration drift. Terraform notifies using the planning phase. Kubernetes doesn't provide functionality. Tools. Terraform has command line interface to execute and manage. Kubernetes has kubectl allocates memory. Concluding thoughts. Terraform and Kubernetes are the two leading DevOps tools. Terraform is a single framework that enables automated declarative resources across various cloud platforms. Kubernetes excels in managing resource management, deployments, and load balancing in container environments. So, which platform would you consider for your next project? Not sure? Then you can hire top Kubernetes and Terraform professionals from Oliver, who can help you with your project. Sign up now. For more enlightening reads, head over to our blog at olibr.com blog. And hey, if you're on the hunt for exciting job opportunities, jump over to olibr.com and sign up. Unearth your potential, ignite your passion, Join our vibrant community across LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Threads. Stay tuned for more exciting tech insights. Like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates. Until next time, keep innovating.